the right thing on it. So I should be here, ready to go, add details, and there is live, and it says it's checking the connection for this one. So I'll have a look and see where this lands, if indeed it does land. Instagram says they're telling my followers I've started a video, so I think it's live everywhere. Good evening. It is Sunday, the 18th of September. This is week three of Heartfelt Habits. I'm Jacqueline Kent, the Happy Life Activator. Hello, Instagram, if you're watching, can you drop me a heart or a like or a quick comment and just let me know? Thank you. Hello out in Facebook land. Here, too, is week three of Heartfelt Habits. Saying hello to all of the different uh, screens, cameras, places. I think it's going in all the right places. I'm still getting used to this whole multi-screen thing. I think there's probably another way to do it, but I'll figure that out as I go, and that's okay too. I hope this Sunday evening finds you well. I am very much aware that a lot of people are likely to be observing a minute or I think it might be two minutes silence, which happens at eight o'clock this evening. So I'm going to keep it brief for tonight. But I thought rather than either put it off or change something, better to just show up do what I came here to do, send you all my love and then wish you on your way. And if you are indeed going to be um, observing or watching funeral things as they happen tomorrow, whether that's on the TV or however you're doing things, then, you know, lots of love to you. I'm certainly going to be taking a look at that because, you know, it's history in the making, isn't it? So anyway, on with the show. <laughs> Welcome to week three of Heartfelt Habits. This week, we are talking about observing yourself. And when I say that, I don't mean you're going to sit and look at yourself in the mirror and be like, hmm, hello, aren't you interesting? But what you can do is spend a little bit of time just seeing how you're doing, how you're responding to things, how you're showing up, how all of that feels for you in your life. Do you feel like you're showing up as you? Or do you feel like you're showing up as a version of you? And maybe that version of you is who you think you're supposed to be. So if you want me to just explain that a little bit further, quite often in life, what happens is we pick up as we're moving through stuff other people's perceptions of us, other people's translations and interpretations of us. And quite often we end up adopting those and taking them on as who we actually are. So then it can come to a point where we find ourselves saying, well, actually, I don't know who I am. I don't know if that's me or I think don't know if maybe I just think that's me. And often that can come if you've been through some kind of traumatic experience or something very intense, or maybe just life has added so many layers of things to you that you've forgotten how to be you. So this evening's heartfelt habit comes with an invitation just to take a little bit of a look at yourself. And there is absolutely, as always, with all of my suggestions, teachings, call them whatever you like. This is a no judgment space. <laughs> so what you're effectively doing is putting on the lens of love and looking at yourself in a way that just gives you information. Nothing more. There's not to be any self-criticism. There's not to be any negative self-talk. You might hear some of that. But you don't have to take notice of it. And in doing this, in a gentle, loving way, you can start to think or see, well, actually, I'm starting to notice that some of the things I do are things that happen because I think it's what people expect of me. or Sometimes people who are in your world might tell you how they see you and then you expect that of yourself. And sometimes it might be that they tell you that they see you 
as this amazing, energized, wonderful person. And you're just like, um, I don't feel like that. And it's lovely that they see you like that. But would, maybe there's like a little bit of a disconnect and you're feeling like, I'd like to get to her, but I don't know how. So by spending a few minutes observing and just taking a look, you can do this in a either a journal or a notebook or on a piece of paper, or just every so often, you know, maybe a couple of times a day, just check in with yourself and be like, here's what I've done so far today. Something that I felt I really wanted. Or is it something that I felt I should really don't like that word, but here it is. Is it something that I felt I should be doing? Is it what was expected of me? And I did it because I would have felt bad if I hadn't done it. Just ask yourself that question. and Make a little note of how you see the answer to that question. Think about how that feels. Think about whether or not it's real, whether or not it's something that could do with a little bit more attention. So that maybe next time a similar situation happens, you're going to be like, well, actually, me, who I really am, doesn't want to be known to be the person that perhaps, for example, just says yes to everything. I'm a bit tired of saying yes to everything. I'd like to start learning or teaching myself a little bit of how to say no to some things, especially when I feel like they're not really right for me. It's going to take you some time to get to that. But a lot of what I talk about in my work is so healthy boundaries are a massive thing in terms of self-care. Healthy boundaries make such a difference because the better you learn to look after yourself and have clear boundaries, and when we're talking about boundaries, we're really talking about having some kind of stop gap so that you don't become the thing in the middle that bridges that gap. You're actually on a side of it by yourself. So I hope that made sense. Basically, boundaries are where our needs start stop becoming everybody else's wants. If you have that clearer line, it can be much easier to understand where it's something that's you and something that isn't really what you want. And it's such a common thing that I see. I'd just like to say hello on Instagram. I can see you're joining. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm just having a quick check in from the other places. So do me a favour, say hi, send me a love heart or something like that. If you can hear me, see me, if you resonate with what I'm saying. Um, so, yeah, boundaries are, you know, the people pleasing thing is it's almost an epidemic on its own. And until we learn to educate ourselves with what we would like to say yes to more often. Um, until we learn that, it can be really hard to understand where or who we need to start saying no, whether we need to, need to start saying no to a person, to an opportunity. Um, maybe we're just saying yes to everything that comes up and that keeps us busy and it keeps us distracted from what's really going on. But if you observe and see that happening, you don't have to do anything about it right now. The purpose of this series is to gently walk you through some of that step by step. So by actually observing what's going on, observing your responses, your reactions, your behaviours, you can spend a little bit more time thinking about whether or not their responses, reactions and behaviours that actually belong to the person you really want to be or that you know is here inside. I hope that makes sense. Um, so I think one of the things that happens when we get caught up in being bottom of the list and everybody else going before us is we are so constantly on like this, um, I mean, last week I talked about it too, the hamster wheel, that we forget to actually just stop and take a bit of a look. Have a look around and think, is this where I want to be? Is this who I want to be? Is this who I want to be with? And in that, I don't necessarily just mean your like romantic relationships. It could be people that you're working around. It could be... Um, the friendship groups that you have, sometimes you might find they're not really very supportive. 
And when you start to take a look at that, it's a little bit of an eye opener, but also it gives you information. And that's all you're looking for at this point. Some information to help you figure a few things out so that you can then gently start to look at what you might need to do next to clean things up a little bit and do things in a more heartfelt, honest way. Because this is all about being much more real with yourself. And if you're not aware of it already, or perhaps you're new to my world, maybe you've just joined this and it's the first time you've seen me, in which case, hi, hope you're okay. Um, I do actually have a four week program called Get Real, and it's all about being more honest about your wants and needs first. And if that's something that sounds good to you, let me know. I can always send you more information. If you're on Instagram, the links to things like that are always in my bio. If you're on Facebook, there are more and more things coming up that have links to all of this stuff. And it's all going to be available on my website soon. Some of it's already on there. Um, if you're a little bit curious and that's piqued your curiosity, just drop me a quick message. I'm never very far away. Um, so that is really what I wanted to say today. The purpose of these heartfelt habits teachings is they're usually no more than half an hour, but I try not to make them that long because I know if you don't manage to catch it live and not everybody always has that same amount of time available, then you might look at it and think, God, that's a half an hour video. I haven't got half an hour. So I'm trying to keep it simple to the point, trying to make sure the message gets across what it is I'm trying to help you with at this moment. And so this evening's is simply the observing yourself stage where you're just taking a little bit of a look at things and thinking, is this what I want? Am I where I want to be? Am I being who I want to be? And am I doing that with people or in situations that I want to be in? So a few things that you can think about. But it's not like a to do list, but a few things that you can be mindful of when you start doing these observational exercises. Just keep a few notes in a notebook and you might get to the end of a week and think back, God, I spent most of my week not being me, not being that person, but being something for everybody else. Where is the fun in that? And so there we are. Being heartfelt habits. If you have um, ever joined me in the Self Compassion Collective, my Facebook group, my free women's um, compassionate supporting Facebook group. I do a card pull from my very own deck that I created, which is the A to Z of self care. And so here I am just going to pull a quick card on that this evening and see what comes from there. And then I'll let you go and get on with your evening. So what do we need to hear tonight? Here's the card. <laughs> it always makes me laugh when they're really, really relevant. It's the A to Z. So it's the letter K. Know yourself. There you are. There's the camera there. Look, know yourself. And of course, all of the tips and things that I share in these Heartfelt Habits series are all about getting to know yourself better. This card simply says, trust your instincts. What do you need right now? What would feel best? So hopefully in taking a few moments to do this little exercise that we just talked about, whether you take notes over a week or a couple of weeks and start to build up a bit of a picture, you will slowly get to see and feel what is actually right in that context. Do you know who you are and what you want? Are you being completely honest about that? And then every single card in this deck, so there are 52, two for each letter of the alphabet, um, has an affirmation with it. And the affirmation for this card says, I make time to know myself. I make time to know myself. One thing, if you've ever seen any of my teachings before that I talk about a lot, is that you are the only person you're guaranteed to spend the rest of your life with. So you really should start being happier with that person, being more comfortable with that person, being more real and honest about who that person is. And on that note, I shall finish. Thank you so much for watching. If you've managed to watch the replay, I'd love a hashtag replay. Let me know if you've managed to get anything from there. I've just seen Lee pop a comment in. Hi, Lee. Thank you for popping in, my lovely. Um, great to see you. So I hope that something in there resonated with you. Do let me know.
as I say, if you've done the replay, click hashtag replay. If you want any more information, just put something in the comments and say, you know, I'd love more information. Simple, really. Anything like that. I've got heaps of things I can send you. Each of these videos is being repurposed into a blog, which I'm then sharing across my socials so that you can absorb the information in a different way. Perhaps videos aren't for you. Maybe you don't like being hooked up to tech constantly, or perhaps you just don't get a chance to even listen to these videos. And I'm just being honest about that because I know it can get very time consuming, quite tiring and draining. And sometimes it's just like another thing to think about. Right. So by popping them on a blog post, you can then refer back to them as and when is the right time for you. So this one will hit the blog probably around Wednesday um, with the um, kind of the juicy bits from what I've just talked about. And if there's any questions, as always, please do drop me a line. My name is Jacqueline Kent and I'm the Happy Life Activator. You've been watching Heartfelt Habits. Thank you very much and good night. <laughs>